In the next 5 minutes I will show you how to get everything you need to get started in AC. This guide is meant for people that don't want to fiddle with settings for ages but want to get on track as fast as possible. Enough waffling, let's get into this. Step 1. Download and install Content Manager. After you've downloaded it, just open the file and this window will pop up. Things you want to check in this window. The root folder of Astacorsa, your Steam ID, then you can write in your name and then install all of the plugins below because it will enable full functionality of Content Manager. Then just click OK. After this, Content Manager will open up and will show you a tutorial. I don't think you need to click through it. If you want to, go ahead, but you don't need to. Next, go into Settings in the top right and then Custom Shaders Patch in the top left. It will ask you if you want to install it, click yes please, and then check what version it installed. If it didn't install the newest one with the tag recommended, install that one. Next thing, download Sol. After you've downloaded it, open the zip file. In the zip file, open the Sol folder and simply drag and drop these into the Astocorsa root folder. Then you need to change a few settings for Sol to work properly. So go into settings, Astocorsa. Python apps and enable every Python app you see on that screen. Disclaimer, you won't have as many as I do because I have some other apps installed as well. Then go to custom shaders patch, weather effects and as the weather script, select the newest version of Sol you've just installed. Lastly, we need to install a PP filter. There's like a billion of them, so just pick and choose whichever you want. But here I've got one paid and two free PP filters for you. First one is this photorealistic filter. Second one is Horizon Shades, which actually includes more than just one. And lastly, the paid one I use is called Sky, and you can find it on the Angsmoya Patreon. And once you've got the filter you wanted, just open up the 7-zip file, open up the folder if there is any, and then just simply drag and drop the folder into the root folder of Astacorsa, and then you've got your PP filter installed. To enable the filter, go to Settings, Astacorsa, Video, and enable post-processing and then choose the filter you've just downloaded. Then on the same page you can just configure your graphic settings so that your game can run smoothly. To test your settings simply tap benchmark in the bottom right corner. And last thing you would want to do before heading out on track is setting up your input device. So you go to settings, asset Corsa and controls. Select your input method and after that just select the bindings that you like. Now it's finally the time to go and drive some cars. So click drive. Now you can pick your car, track, set up the session in any way you want. And under the car selection, you have the assists. So just pick the assist that you're comfortable with. And then you can simply press go in the bottom right corner. But I'm guessing as most people do, you would get bored of the base game content quite quickly. So I will show you how to get some mods. The best place to get free mods for AC, in my opinion, is Race Department. They've got a gallery of so many tracks, cars and skins for AC and even other simulators as well. So if you want any content for sim racing, Race Department is your place. When it comes to paid content for AC, there are two modding studios which I absolutely love. It's Racing Studios and VRC Modding Team. The mods they produce are of such high quality you can compare them to the base content that's actually in the game and the price of it isn't that much. So I highly recommend checking out the website of VRC and RSS and downloading a few freebies that they actually got on their website so you can see how good their content actually is. So after you found the mod that you want, simply download it and now it's time to put it in the game. Simply download the mod and once you've downloaded it, take the zip file and drag and drop it into the content manager window. Then look in the top right of content manager, there should be a green download arrow, click on that and wait if content manager recognizes what content it is. If so, just click install and then you can just pick it and drive the car or track. If it doesn't recognize what it is, you will need to do it manually. So open up the Asset Corsa root folder, go to content, then go to cars or tracks depending on what you want to install. Then open up the zip file and click your way down to the lowest folder in the zip file. And that folder you simply drag and drop into the Asset Corsa cars slash track folder. After that, it will simply appear in Content Manager. And that's all you need to know for starters. There is a lot more information to be learned about Content Manager and Astacorsa, but this is all you need to just get driving. That's it from me. See you in the next one.